So it's official now. As mentioned yesterday, but officially confirmed today, there's another X Defiant playtest here later this week. And today, we're breaking down everything you need to know in regards to this playtest. Start times, preloads, content available, even some rewards to consider, and more. So that said, drop your thoughts down below. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video, and make sure to subscribe for more X Defiant coverage here ahead of this playtest and leading into the launch here, hopefully sooner rather than later. We'd love to have you in the community. And also, make sure to check out the content over on TikTok. Links down below. But for now, Let's get into it. First, let's start out with the basics here. From the get-go, the X Defiant team announced that this would indeed be a longer than just 12-hour test session here, as previously mentioned, starting this Friday, April 19th, and going until early Sunday, the 21st. This play test is lasting from 10 a.m. Pacific time, 1 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. in the UK, and elsewhere in the world, as denoted on the graphic on screen for you, to hopefully better help distinguish any time zone differences, and then it'll also end the same time on Sunday, lasting for 48 hours total. It'd be really cool to see a surprise of like, hey, just kidding, we're going to keep this open until Monday, but I don't expect that happening. And honestly, with the announcement prior that it would be only 12 hours now going to 48 hours, I'm not pressing my luck too much. I'm happy to see even an extended period of time with that, but 48 hours indeed instead of that previously announced 12 is certainly a great little bonus. Now, to make sure that you're able to jump in as soon as the test opens up on Friday, you'll want to make sure you preload the game and the test session build that we have. That's actually already available for preload on your respective platforms of choice. For PC, you'll have to go to the Ubisoft Connect app. It should be right there on the homepage for you, I'd imagine, but if it's not, you want to search for the X Defiant search server test session and start your preload and download that wherever you want to have it installed. Personally, I'd recommend an SSD if, if your PC has one with available space, just so you don't find any hitching issues due to read speeds or anything like that. I had a problem with that with Starfield when it launched that Steam somehow changed my default drive that I had everything installed on and I got a ton of lagging, hitching, and almost game crashes to a point. So just a side note to keep that in mind. PlayStation, same thing applies. If you're a first time player, look for that X Defiant server test session and download the game from there. However, that said, if you have played an X Defiant test before and kept the game in your library, it's noted that this is a different air quote product called X Defiant. So you can keep that one of what you've played before, but it'll be used for the eventual launch build of the game, not the test session itself. So you're still going to want to go out and look for that server test session and download the game from there. Same thing on Xbox, but in addition to PlayStation's mention, it says if you have X Defiant already downloaded, that's your launch build once again. But they mentioned on Xbox, you can also get rid of any closed beta builds you may still have if you held on to that for some reason. That's just taking up space and it will not be used again. Now, one thing to consider is that this is going to be only on current gen from here on out pc playstation 5 xbox series x and s but that's it no xbox one no playstation 4 nothing like that instead we are moving forward with current gen i guess at this point because it's been a few years only beyond that what kind of content can you expect to play here at this now the focus will be a server stress test not a content test so i could be wrong here and i'd be happy to be but i'm not expecting any sort of new content beyond what we've seen in prior playtests, like the PTS back in September, and the beta that happened in, what, like June or so at that point? So, if that is the case, you have 14 maps to look forward to, 5 factions, 5 modes, and 24 weapons. The maps are broken down into 10 arena and 4 progression-based maps, the arenas being Arena, Attica Heights, Dumbo, Echelon, Emporium, Liberty, Mayday, Noodleplex, Pueblito, and Showtime, the progression maps being Meltdown, Midway, Times Square, and Zoo, the factions being the Cleaners, Libertad, Echelon, Phantoms, and DeadSec, the modes being 3 arena modes and 2 progression, the arena being Domination, Occupy, and Hotshot, Shot, zone control and escort being the two progression modes and then you have 24 varying different weapons with 44 attachments and if it's anything to go off of like the last play test or any beta previously we did see some camos so you might be able to unlock some of that stuff bronze silver and gold were all seen beforehand but with 48 hours it might not necessarily be something you see a whole ton of those but yeah you might see those Anyways, will anything out of this playtest progress and transfer over? We know of, based off of some rewards, which we'll touch on here in a second, that there will be at least 18 levels. One is tied to a reward, so, but with progression, will any of that transfer to the full game? No. 
Everything that happens in this 48 hour test window is limited only to this 48 hour test window. Nothing else will transfer. It won't give you that head start on the full game. So if you can't make it, you're not missing out too much other than just simply being able to play the game again. Similar to any sort of beta, this is just a more limited play test. So you'll get to experience it all, but you won't be able to keep anything going forward. Now, one thing that actually will transfer, but again, isn't necessarily like any gameplay based reward or progression based reward in regards to full unlocks is you'll get a few rewards that during this test you can end up just simply playing in a party in the test at all or again reaching that level 18 and you'll earn rewards for that playing in the test just by simply logging in at least once you end up earning the mp5 shamrock weapon skin if you play in a party during this you end up getting the m9 ember weapon skin and again if you've reached that level 18 you get three weapon xp boosters basically double weapon xp tokens but for x defiant so that's something that does give you a little bit of bonus to just simply play or play with with friends and again play a little longer than just a few matches but that said that is the play test and what you can probably expect for this but what do you do after the play test ends well feedback is actively wanted Twitter, Reddit, their Discord, those places will all be where you can share ideas, feedback on your session, and your experience. The big thing being the netcode and the networking experience as a whole, I feel like that's what they're really looking forward to hearing about the most, so make sure you share your thoughts and opinions on what you experienced. And beyond that, well, the only thing to discuss is, what about after the playtest? Are we going to have to wait another year to play once again? Well, hopefully not. The Target 4 launch, while not explicitly mentioned in this accompanying blog post or anything of the sorts from the official X Defiant accounts, it appears that according to insiders, it's now aiming for a summer launch once again. Round two of that last year, what we saw, and hopefully it actually works out this year. My personal hopes that we see this launching sooner rather than later, with summer starting in June, maybe early June, mid-June, if not earlier. I mean, I'd love to take a May launch time, but ultimately that window once again falls to a multi-month vague window. June to September is technically summer in the Northern Hemisphere, so it could be any of that time. We don't quite know, and it of course gives them a window of opportunity that isn't necessarily held down by a specific date that they'd have to otherwise announce. But anyways, that is the X Defiant playtest and everything that you need to know about it here upcoming and what you should do to take part. So that said, that's where we're going to wrap it up. Before we do that, make sure you check out my friends over at Gamer Advantage for what I firmly believe are the best blue light glasses on the market. I've worked with these guys for three years now. Cannot recommend them enough. They're the most lightweight, comfortable, and durable frames out there as far as I've used, and I definitely think they've helped my daily productivity. Now, full transparency, they are a bit more of an investment, but I think your vision's absolutely worth investing into, especially if you're like me, you're looking at a monitor, phone, or gaming for a good chunk of the day. So if you guys would like to learn more, at the very least, I'd recommend checking out their website where they can better break down the science, all the specifics of their product, way better than I could, but what I can personally say is that I'd highly recommend them. So if you'd like to learn more, check the link in the description below, and if you'd like to pick something up for yourself, use code ESPRESSO to get 10% off your entire order. But for now, that's what we're going to call it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Are you looking forward to the play test here and the test session upcoming for X Defiant? Not so much. Whatever the case, drop your thoughts. But if you enjoyed the video, you found it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing running all things X Defiant and other FPS content. I'd love to have in the community. But for now, Thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you later. Take care and peace.